Hi. Welcome. This is the beginning with the dissenter and uh, I would like to get you through the basics. So the first primary function to learn is to reset the device as well. Sorry, software is not yet too stable. Sometimes it might cause problems. So to reset the device, all you need to do is press two buttons, button number two and number three together to get us to system menu. And just press button number one or press encoder to reset. Now the device is initialized and ready to operate. Basically, the center operates like a mini modular within your modular. So you create a list of modules and connect them. And that creates a patch or preset. So to go with that, the first and most important thing is to understand how inputs and outputs are connected together. And this is our first tutorial video to learn about inputs and outputs. So let's start with practical things. So to get and add new modules, press the file button first, then manage. And now we have add new module, delete selected module, which we've selected with, or init the patch. So we init the patch, it's empty, and we add the module. So let's add VCO. Let's start with VCO, that's easy. And now we have some little bit of sound in background. And we can start uh, trying to work with this sound. So first of all, pressing encoder on the selected module bring us to the settings here. And here we can select waveform. But let's go nice triangle form. We love it. And let's go to inputs. Inputs allow us to set all the inputs of the given module and assign them to any of the knobs. And they don't not necessarily have to follow that this is attenuator, this is level. They don't have to be assigned. We can add a value. We can just set the value. And this is fully flexible operation. So, for example, right now, this is the node that is being taken for VCO. We can just make it a little bit louder. And now I can press encoder, select Vioct input, that node, select the value, and that creates the nodes. But we can just, instead, we can assign here to the VO input from VO, Vioct 1, and that connected to my Arturia keyboard and I can play notes right now.
audio output to any other output let's leave it at the out one or I can send it to virtual buffer which will be which we will discuss later so right now we leave it at the out one now going back let's add one LFO. This LFO right now outputs also to be out one. So we get into the LFO shape. It's a triangle two. And let's output to V out two to V out four for now. It can go to the buffer, then no matter. Um, so we have LFO going here the VCO coming here. Now I have this LFO running. I can do inputs, set frequency to frequency to level let's say level five frequency cores and frequency to level 6. Now I'm turning course frequency and the LFO starts running. Let's leave it going slow. So I have LFO running here and VCO running on output 1. I go to VCO and in inputs we said before the skew coming from level 2 adjusting the uh, triangle or if I put CV control right now I can get CV control coming from CVX let's patch this output And we have right now nicely changing. It's already modulated. Too much. outside we can save this patch and instead of using CVX input this is CVX I can go and select modulation coming from LFO 0 coming from LFO output 
back, back. It's doing the same again, disconnect the cable. And furthermore, in the LFO settings, LFO, in LFO settings, which is outputting to VOD4, I can output it to virtual buffer. We don't we are freeing one output and only VCR output, but it's modulated by LFO. So that's how inputs and outputs get connected. I can add another LFO. Let's set this LFO's output also to virtual buffer. Let's make it sine wave. And we will use LFO2 to modulate AM amplitude modulation will come from LFO1. And we have amplitude modulated signal and sounds like that. buffer is somehow internal location for modules to input and output and they can get this input. Now that's the end of tutorial one. Thank you guys.